Okay, we're given that the sine of x is 2 thirds and the tangent is negative. We want to find the cosine. So we're going to use a Pythagorean identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, and substitute in 2 thirds for the sine, and then we'll square that plus the cosine squared x equals 1. Um, 2 thirds times 2 thirds is 4 ninths. Um, but we're going to need to subtract that over to the other side. So cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus 4 ninths. And we need a common denominator in order to subtract. So 9 over 9 is equivalent to 1. And then we can combine those numerators. So 9 minus 4 is 5. So the cosine squared x is equal to 5 over 9. OK, now we're going to square root both sides and cosine of x is plus or minus the square root of 5 over, and then the square root of 9 is 3. And to decide whether to keep the positive or the negative answer, we want to come back up here to our given information. And remember our acronym, all students take calculus to remember the signs and the quadrants. So the A stands for all. Um, all six trig functions are positive in quadrant one. That won't work because it tells us in the given that the tangent is negative. Then the S um, is that sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive in quadrant two. Our given information is that sine is positive, tangent's negative. That means we're in quadrant two because sine is positive, but tangent's negative in quadrant two. So uh, that means cosine is also negative there. So we're going to throw out the positive, keep the negative, and then our answer is cosine of x equals negative square root of 5 over 3.